What's going on? My name's Seti and let's play Fallout 4. Now, last time we left off, I believe we uh, took down um, Swan. I believe. I don't remember. It's been two weeks since I played. Keeps on slamming the door. You okay there, Amber? Okay, there you go. Uh, yep, there it is. Let's take these as, um, I guess, a uh, remembrance of Swan. And I believe we got a, uh, yep, increased damage after each cons consecutive hit on the same target. And we're gonna put the machete right here. Wait, what? Hold on. Thirty one. Uh. Don't I have anything? 20. Ooh. Kind of like the Institute rifle, but... Where is it? This one has more power. Well. All right, where are we going? Oh yeah, that's right. Dr. Amari. Wait, is that right? Pastor Dan. Oh, the freedom. Tr okay, that's to find the um the railroad. Ghouls. Yeah, get pissed. Nothing. What's that? All right, that's all. Look at you. You hit my bad rope. What? Bet. Can I upgrade this fist? I hope I can upgrade. Can you upgrade the fist? Or is this like stock? This is so long. You know, I've I have I've never gotten 
except for the one time I, I I had to find it, like when I was doing the this quest. Gonna splatter your brain. I've never found the actual entrance to. Oh, there it is. Easier than expected. I guess I wasn't looking hard enough. Oh, shooting from above. All right. Do I have any perks? I do not. This one will do. What should I do next? Uh, I'll do... I'll do one of the lock picks or the hacker right here. Wait, is this locksmith? Oh, dang. I'm gonna have to do um hacker. Oh, no, I think I'm. I'm gonna do blacksmith. I'm gonna do yeah. And if I I need like a higher a higher level for um. To get hacker and lockpick for like you know future future mission thing like main quest stuff i'll just go like off camera um to to do it hey hold up there first time in good neighbor you can't go walking around without insurance you better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You Bet. hand over everything you, you got in your pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accident. Whoa, whoa, time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Damn cop. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? said let him go the shock hancock you keep letting outsiders walk all over us one day you'll be a new man come on man this is me we're talking about yeah man, man. oh ho, 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 ho. snap i forgot to see that huh breaking my heart over here you all right brother I'm fine. yeah i'm good thanks for taking care of him good now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Hell You're yeah, welcome. I do. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. <laughs> me. I'm in charge, fool. Unfortunately, I got no time to deal with any of y'all. out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you little brat. I guess Nick pulls. 
Wait, where am I going? Oh. Right here. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. This one's yeah. all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This I'll be nice, sir. brain sorry. had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Why does she look like Sid from Ice Age? Here Here's you go. what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. So the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay. So the tech is probably preserving the tissue, injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. Yo, who cares? I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. Yeah, plug him in. Plug him in. Yeah, this is thanks, I guess. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit back. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. No, I'm just going to bash your head in. Go find Can another sense. Keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. What? What does that mean? How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory lounger. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Yeah, let's right. do it. Let's get started. Just sit down over there, and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. I'll put this little fan on. Migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Oh. What is this? I vaguely remember this. Things. Uh. 
I know we go into like his no. memories and stuff, but I kind of remember it, kind of not. To be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll Let's try go. to step you through the intact memories Yo. and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the incident's kind of location. Alright. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Let's go. I can't remember if I fall off, I die, or or what, but I'm going to try my best not to. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Oh, can I grab these? Ah, oh, dang. Look at all these comics. Could have powered up. Joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Teacher at school said the NCL would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boot? Yeah, where the listen fuck you put his boots, lady? You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all no, he ain't. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. That didn't protect them whenever I got it to them. you're going to survive. I, I will, Mom. I promise. Then take one shot at me. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what they're looking for. No shit, Sherlock. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Oh. Wait. Oh, I can't fall off. Okay. That makes this so much easier. What is this? It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now with the baby? Come on, Sarah. Baby. You gotta give it a chance. My father got steady work with a good Wait, outfit. is that Kellogg? Nothing like that in the it's not bald yet. Days. I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just. Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections, I mean. Then I can give you anything you want, and little Mary too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. No Access memory. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Come on, you're great with her. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. That's true. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. Yeah, that, that, that's that's pretty so true right there. I, I feel that. By comparison with what comes after, that you really understand, that's what happiness felt like. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. Yeah, it's gonna be great here. This. This is what's going to keep you and Mary safe. 
<laughs> no, it ain't. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. Kinda wish I can we'll shoot him right now. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Alright. Okay, I can't run, apparently. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Oh, I'm guessing they killed his wife and kid. Oh, sorry. Damn, that sucks. But he knew that pain. Why will he take my wife and kid? Mind if we there's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. So, so just, there was always a job for someone like me. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. So. All right. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Is it this way? No. Am I going? It's that way. Mind if we... Well, we'll go next time on Let's Play Fallout 4.